Hello, Paul here, and I want to take you through the top new features in Adobe XD. So I'm going to dive right in just by dragging out a rectangle, which seems harmless enough. But notice we have a new color picker. You can dive in, pick any one of these colors that I've already used. In fact, you know what? That color, I've already saved it right down here because we have this all new color picker that I can then pick from or add to whatever I need to do. Well, the cool thing I like, though, is gradients. Okay, so check this out. Here's this gradient. And uh, at this point, I could actually just change, say, for instance, that end, clicking there and, you know, picking a color. Uh, but what I really like about this, and let me just, like, pick a couple of these colors like that, okay, is I can actually just kind of adjust it this way, too, okay? And I can actually add as many color stops as I want just by clicking on them. You can see how they get added there, okay? So easy enough. There it is there, and then I can just jump in and delete it because actually what I want to do in this case, I'll stretch this out. Uh, I actually drag this down a little bit. Uh, adjust the transparency a little bit because I just want a color splash essentially uh, right on there, something like that, done and done. Okay, so let's move on because you're now looking at this. Okay, what do I have to do? I have to send to back or send backward. Oh, I wish there was layers in Adobe XD. Well, now there is. Right over here, layers panel, rectangle 19, right? I can just drag that down uh, beneath a lot of this other stuff, just like that. And notice how I have that path. I actually might want to have it in front of that path, just so it doesn't stand out too much. But in fact, I can just take all that content and group it together, and this could be my background works the way you'd think it would work everything's fine from here again I can just jump in and let's just group this and let's call this uh, basically profile uh, pick and this one right here will uh, be the title art but I'm not done with this title art. In fact, I'm not done with this scene yet because I want to go beyond this, okay? So uh, I actually want to grab some content from Photoshop. So launching Photoshop. And what I can do is I can copy and paste pixels. That's pretty cool. But I have this shape, and this just happens to be this little guy down here. He's a little vector, vector character, if you will, right? And what I can do is I can copy the SVG from Photoshop. So copy SVG. From there, jumping in and, uh, again, just pasting it in. Here's our little character, and let's shrink him down. Maybe he's, like, on this little path, whatever, right? But you can see how I can copy and paste SVGs from good old Photoshop and, uh, you know, make sure it looks appropriate. We'll put that little guy down there. Okay, perfect. Another huge feature is, it was really beneficial, honestly, um, Quite frankly, uh, you end up reusing a lot of elements as you create more and more screens, right? Kind of like how I've done right down here, you know? I'm reusing that profile pic. Well, I can take this profile pic and I'll just like increase the size a little bit because I actually want it to be larger. But I can have any element and turn it into a symbol because there are now symbols in XD. So all I need to do is hit this plus sign, boom, there's that symbol. What about this title art? Yeah, bring that in there too. Now I can start to use these all I want. So say for instance, uh, if I you know create a new artboard or whatever, I can bring out you know, again, this one could be for an iPad or something. I could bring that out, and that's going to reference this same symbol, so it will be updated everywhere. And that's what I'd want to do with all of these images. Like, let's get rid of that, because I want to swap this out, you know, for different people. But I can place them in. Symbols work exactly the way you think they're going to work. I make one change uh, in this symbol, and it will change all of them. Gives me that green outline right there. Symbols, super powerful in Adobe XD. Now, there are other features I could talk about, but I'm going to dive into this last one, really powerful. In fact, I'm going to go into prototyping just to see what I have in here. Really, I just have this one connected. Well, I'll just connect a couple more of these things. You know, this item will go clear down over here. Why not? Okay, and this button will go back. But as soon as you, you know, you're done prototyping, okay, and I'll just connect this back here, and everything's just going to dissolve. I can add different transitions. But once that's all squared away, I can not only just preview on, say, uh, in a browser, which there's some amazing things going on there, I love the ability to preview on a device, on my iPhone, which happens to be connected by USB. In fact, let's just move this right over, because here it is. I have Adobe XD, the app. When I launch this app, it's going to recognize this project 
It's going to give me more settings if I do a long press. But essentially, this is what's going on. This is actually on my device. So I can grab, say, for instance, this little like profile pic. And you can see, okay, well, maybe I didn't quite reach Everest, whatever. All right, you get the idea. It's all connected live. Okay, even the fact that I don't have uh, this this one connected down here. Well, I can add that in because a lot of time when you're prototyping, you don't realize uh, that some things aren't connected or hooked up, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. But, and I can interact, by the way, uh, directly on the device. I just tapped back. Let's tap back again. And you can see that's actually working. But I love being able to preview on a device, have this sort of live editing if you want. And the last thing I'm going to show, which is super cool, is creating a link. Sure, that's great. I could send this to anyone I want. We'll have this open up. Sure enough, here's our project we're working on. One of four screens, two, three, four of four. Uh, you know, you get the idea there. But the cool thing is, I can click right over here, and as long as I'm signed in, I can say, hey, this is fantastic. And that's what I say about a lot of my stuff, just to make myself feel better, adding that comment right here, and that is done. So check out the latest release of Adobe XD Download and just have fun creating.